Second Amendment, uh, gun control. You've been on the uh, NRA's board since 95, mm -hmm. and this is a subject that you maybe feel more strongly about than any other. I believe that a Make your case. I believe that a person's uh, moral compass can be determined by how he references free men the right to defend themselves. So right off the bat, gibberish. I'm not even, I'm not even saying that to dismiss it. Like, oh, that's just gibberish. <laughs> no, like, it literally makes no sense. The Second Amendment is so obvious to me, it's, it's insane that there's an argument. God gave, let's, let's pretend there is no document. Let's pretend brave families didn't leave the tyrants and the slave drivers of Europe. Well, the country was actually founded by slave owners, Ted, but close. Well, as long as you consider complete opposites to be close. So that they could practice the religion of their choice, so that they could speak out without being murdered, that they could produce wool without the king's men coming and taking it from them every season of harvest. Let's pretend none of that happened. Let's just pretend this guy named Ted Nugent parachuted onto earth and woke up one morning and saw these wonderful resources and had dreams of excellence and being the best that I could be. I don't need a document and I don't need another man to explain to me that I have the right to defend my gift of life. You know what? Sure, if someone's attacking you, you have the right to defend yourself. And 99.9% .9 of people would agree with that. But the argument you're making is kind of like saying rape should be legal because everyone has the right to procreation. I mean, it's perfectly possible for me as a human being to recognize that other human beings have the right to defend themselves and still be anti-gun. I'm not anti-gun, but I could still be that position if I really wanted to be, and it would still be completely logically consistent. I mean, by, by your standard, people should be able to have atom bombs. Like, hey, I need an atom bomb to defend myself. And that there is an argument in America from Hillary Clinton, from Barbara Boxer, Dianne Feinstein, from a whole gaggle of numbnuts who would try to tell me they will dictate where, how, and if I can defend myself. Yeah, there fucking should be. Because otherwise, you could walk into Times Square with a flamethrower, like, I need this for defense. <laughs> you could go down Pennsylvania Avenue with a fucking tank. This is my tank for personal defense. I mean, yeah, everyone has a right to self-defense. But I think there should be some guidelines as to what's acceptable to defend yourself with. Now, for some people, they're going to say guns are not acceptable. Other people will say guns are acceptable. I'm kind of in the middle. I think that some guns are kind of acceptable under some circumstances. I find that preposterous. I find it unacceptable, and I will not accept it. No one gives a fuck if you accept it. In fact, you can break it all you want. Just go to jail. I mean, in fact, you said that if Obama was reelected, you would be dead or in jail by this time, and you're still not. So you're a fucking liar, Ted. Get on that. I prefer dead, but hey, jail's nice too. I am a free man. Don't tread on me. A good law-abiding citizen, not convicted of a felon. The second amendment of our Bill of Rights is my concealed weapons permit, period. The second amendment was written in the days of the fucking musket, all right? So, I mean, you don't know if the, if the Founding Fathers would have written that the same way if they lived in the age of the M16. I mean, I don't know that they wouldn't have, but you don't know that they would have. So it seems to me that we're both arguing from a position of ignorance when it comes to what people who lived hundreds of years ago in a totally different era would have thought. That's it. That's it. So no limitations of any kind that you no. can see? None. That's it. The limitation should be instead of arresting people for molesting children 24 times, I would rather the dad walked into the room, found a person molesting that child, and blew his brains out. Said the guy who routinely had sex with a 14-year-old girl. Kind of empty coming from you, Ted. Sorry. I would rather that the lady in Massachusetts last month, who was taking her daughter to soccer, uh, who was carjacked by a recidivistic maggot who'd been in the prison system all his life but was let out again because we feel sorry for him. Maybe he had a bad childhood. Instead of her being hijacked and murdered, I'd rather she just shot the bastard dead. But in Massachusetts, somebody decided she can't do that. So she's dead. 
hey, while we're just airing our broken and fucked up psyches and pretending that it's some kind of argument, I wish that she'd gotten out of the car and raped him to death with a 19-inch dildo with nails pounded into it. I mean, yeah, why not? I mean, if we're just gonna talk about, like, our fucked up little fantasies, there we go. By the way, what did this carjacker use to carjack her with? I'm betting it was a fucking gun! And you know what? If someone comes to you and you're driving your car, you go, da 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 da, someone comes to you with a gun, oh, get out of the room! What are you gonna do? You're gonna, you're, you have a gun too, you're gonna reach for your gun, aim it at them, and fire, before they can simply pull the trigger of the gun that's already being pointed at you. Yeah, that would happen, Ted. That would work. Because, I mean, because every criminal just kind of stands idly by while people make arrangements to defend themselves. I'm gonna shoot you soon! Like, oh shit, I better get my gun! Hold on! Okay! Yeah, um, tch, tch, oh! I mean, what, what the fuck? You know what I would rather? I would rather there never was a fucking carjacker! I'd rather society invest in preventing criminals like this from ever being formed. We already know the social conditions that lead to this sort of fucking thing. Why don't we just implement that? Oh no, that makes me a liberal pussy for even suggesting such a thing, right? Ted Nugent's like, But if we stop crime before it happens, then I don't get to shoot nobody. And that's no good. <laughs> I would rather that the guy who beat this lady to within an inch of her life in Waco on parole was he phenomenal and beat her to within an inch of his life in front of her grandchildren with a whiskey bottle i would rather she fell to the ground pulled out a 38 and shot him six times in the chest and killed him i like how all of ted's examples rely on the idea that if good guys are armed they will invariably prevail over the bad guys in every situation i mean look criminals i mean like the only way that a gun is useful is as a deterrent all right, if you're already in a fucking situation, chances are your gun is not going to do you any good. Because criminals tend to get the drop on you. I mean, if, if a criminal doesn't tend to, like, announce, like, hey, I'm coming with my gun, so, you know, defend yourself. That doesn't happen, okay? The only useful thing about having a gun is as a deterrent. Because if the criminal sees, hey, that person has a gun, it's not really worth it to go after that person as opposed to someone who's unarmed. But that's the only fucking reason. Like, this, this fucking fantasy world where everyone is, is gonna be Jesse James and, and every time they're in a bad situation, it's like, boom, yeah! Wild West, motherfucker, whoa! What? You're living in a fucking fantasy! Am I weird? Because the guy is gonna get out again. I don't like repeat offenders. I like dead offenders. I'm 28 years old. I've never owned a gun, I've never fired a gun, I never plan on it! Because in my opinion, it would only put me in greater risk. And if you guys want an indicator of the kind of person who is persuaded by the nooge, the nooge is coming to splooge his information all over you. Let me say something all you scumbags out there coddling these trash felons. State by state, we are organizing militias to fight the NWO. That's New World Order when they come for our guns, but let me be very clear, we will not, let me repeat, we will not accept anyone with any kind of prior conviction on their record. They will be checked and we will, be not and we will notify the NWO of their address and they will be handed over for processing. Don't apply and don't defend a country you betrayed. Scum are not welcome in the fight for liberty. The NWO do what should have been done with you pieces of trash. That doesn't even, I mean, this doesn't even fucking make sense within itself. The government is evil and corrupt and needs to be overthrown. But anyone who's broken its laws is not free to join us. Yeah, here's a guy that's actually arguing with Ted. I am an ex-convict from decades ago, now very successful in academics and business, and would like to say Ted Nugent is the type of psycho the Constitution keeps out of our lives. He thinks he understands it, but he can barely read or talk. And then uh, someone by the name of Patriot Warrior responds, Hey, ex-con, you know what you deserve, bitch? A bullet in the brain and eternal damnation, just as Jesus has ordained for you, punk. You come near my child, your brains will be splattered on the wall. Scum, scum! Hope you don't see me on the street, bitch! And it's funny, because Patriot Warrior can't even spell bitch. And also, how did he get this, this child shit? Like, you come near my child, 
I mean, you're not, you're aware that, that not even like the, the, not even the majority of ex cons are child molesters or have done anything to children. In fact, child molesters get the shit beaten out of them in prison because prisoners hate child molesters probably even more than the general fucking population of the country does. I mean, what the fuck? You're an idiot. You're not even you're 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 such fucking stupid people that you don't even pay attention to your own rhetoric or live within the context of the fucking alternate reality that you've created for yourselves. I mean, you're fucking psych- <sighs> I'm the Amazing Atheist. This is my book, The Douchebag Bible. You can buy it down below. There's a link to subscribe to my channel in the top left-hand corner if you're watching uh, on YouTube with annotations. If you don't have annotations, then you can subscribe to me by clicking a link down below in the description. There's lots of other links in the description, such as social networks and stuff. And if you want to help me out, you can follow me on my social networks because that, of course, builds this channel up because it gives me another means of getting my content to you the audience, so please do that. If you have a Twitter, follow me on Twitter. If you have a uh, Facebook, sign up for my Facebook page. If you have a Tumblr, please follow me on Tumblr. You get the idea. I'm the Amazing Atheist. Peace the fuck out! Woo!